Okay, guys. Uh, thanks for being connected. And uh, welcome back to one more class. And uh, it's a pleasure to be here uh, with all of you, right? And uh, well, the majority of you already explained me that you were not at home, you were uh, in the way to home. Um, that's why I understand that, that you have your camera off. And I really appreciate that, that you always communicate what what is happening with you. And some others are very, very sick because uh, due to the change in the weather, uh, the majority of you uh, got sick and it's understandable. Uh, everybody can get sick and even in my case I got sick like uh, for one week my voice was very very uh, affected by the by the flu my nose and all of that I have like you don't have an idea but I understand you guys okay let's go to start sharing the screen but let me see, guys. Uh, teacher. Okay. Okay, guys. It's understandable the situation that the majority of you is is is, is passing by. Okay. Uh, okay. I had a explain result. Okay, guys. Let me see right here. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay, okay. Now we're going to start sharing the screen. We're going to see over here. Okay, here we have this one's going to be out Okay, let's move this a little bit here. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Okay. Okay, guys. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. At the end, just we are 20, 22, 22 with, with me. A lot of you are missed. Okay, but we're going to continue with the development of the class. Don't worry for that. If the others can get connected in, during the class, uh, there's no problem. Yesterday was a very, like, uh, very interesting class because everybody get connected. We have the entire group. And, and today, some of you are missing. Yes, we're missing, like, like, like five because now we have twenty two participants. Okay, let me move this right here. Oh, right there. Okay, okay, guys. Here we have a conversation, an invitation. What can we see or what can we understand about this? An invitation. What do you imagine, guys, when somebody tells you something referred to an invitation? that that person is inviting you to any uh, specific events uh, or maybe a party or maybe to a dance or maybe to a football game or maybe that person is invited to you to see Netflix at home. <laughs> those, those kind of weird invitation, right? <laughs> Yeah, this is a refer with with everything. Invitation is invitation. Even in English, in Spanish, invitation is invitation. Nothing changed. Because you are requesting something politely to the other person that you want to go with you to some parts or to some place, right? Because if you are inviting someone to anything you want, it's because you really want to share a little bit with that person or maybe with with, with the group of your friends, right? And there's some, there's some other people that don't like 
uh, being inviting people uh, around here and here and here because they are like a like a Scrooge, the one who doesn't like the Christmas because he didn't like the Christmas because he he doesn't like to spend money. <laughs> Eso es un poquito tacaño, dice. <laughs> okay, guys. Let's pay attention here. We have, we have a conversation right here. And we have a little dialogue between that Dave and Susan. I'm going to read it first for you. And then I would like uh, some participants, in this case, two of you, and to help me after I read the, the conversation we have here. Okay, I'm going to start. We're going to start with Dave. I have ticket to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I love to. What time does it start at eight? That sounds great. So, do you want to have a dinner at six? Mm, I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Guys, from the word that I was mentioning here in the conversation, which word is not familiar for, for some of you? One of these words that I already mentioned in, in the conversation. I don't know if the majority of you have heard a, a gate. This word that I'm showing to you with the laser. Como una entrada, una puerta. Yeah, it's like an entrada or puerta. It's telling to us, uh, Wilfredo. But in this case, a gate just only apply for the cases when you were in public places like uh, in a stadium in, uh, maybe in a concert at the, the air at the airport you never gonna say i i'll be waiting for you at the door no 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 that is one of the biggest mistakes that can you make you never gonna say that if you are in those public places. You never gonna say that. Or please hear carefully. Or in the case, um, maybe uh, was another scenario. Uh, maybe a door in in the bathroom, right? In the bathroom, because in the majority of the bathroom, there's there's doors. And that might be the, the difference, right? But in those public places, in those public places, uh, you're only gonna recognize the place where you get in or you get out with the name of gate, okay? At the airport, the, 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 the site where you get in or you get out from the plane, those are called gates, gates. In Spanish, we said puerta. Uh, we can, at the moment to translate, we, we won't gonna say doors. No, 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 no. Just for public place, for public place. Inside of your house, you you, you can say, uh, you can say gay, or but you can call gay, but to uh, a kind of door that you may but in order to hide something in, in at home, right? Uh, like 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 uh, you have like like if you wanted to have your secret place to to hide everything at home, right? For a boy being stole by the Bulgars, <laughs> like your little safe box, right? You you may uh, some secret. Some secret gates. Yeah, that that what that those things that, that are the one that we can call gates too. Okay, I would like to participate, guys. I would like to participate. 
The one who are not sick. <laughs> the one who are not sick. Okay, who wants to help me and collaborate, guys? Me, teacher. Who, 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 who? who? Armando. Armando, who else? Who else? Me, teacher, Henry. Henry, okay, Armando, Henry. Armando, who, you gonna be today? Okay. Uh, okay, Henry gonna be Susan. Don't worry, don't worry, okay. Henry. It, okay. It's it just a character. Nah. Don't, don't, don't worry for that. It's nothing. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's start. Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay let's okay. start at the, at the count of three. One, two, three. Let's start. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Mm -hmm. Thanks. I love I love to. What mm -hmm. time does it start? At mm -hmm. eight. That sounds great. So do you want to have dinner at six? Oh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at at the stadium before the match around seven thirty. Seven thirty or seven thirty. The the way you want you want okay. to say it. Okay, there's no problem. Okay. Okay, let me at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay, we we'll see you there. <laughs> The typical Salvadorian, uh, Salvadorian phrase, it might be like a, uh, esperamos un ladito. <laughs> the typical Salvadorian phrase, don't, don't going to tell me the opposite of that, because the majority of oh, the Salvadorian people, we, we used to do, or we used to use that, that famous, that famous phrase. Esperamos ahí en un lugarcito, esperamos apartadito. No, pues la... Ah, esper... oh, esperamos en la banquita. En la esquina. En la esquina. Sí. Ah, de cornercito. <risa> ok, Aníbal, I see you were uh, with a big smile. I think you, you really want to help me this night, right? Ok. Ok, Aníbal, who, who you would like to be, Aníbal? I'm going to let you. You you want to be there? Okay. Day. Okay. One lady, one girl who want to help me. Raise your hand from ladies. Hello, ladies. Are you listening to me? Who wants to help me? Or I tell or I choose from Hi, Team Marine. Teacher. Who's speaking? Hi. Who's speaking? Karina Beatriz. Okay, Karina, you're gonna be Susan and Aníbal is going to be Tay. Okay, let's go to start at the count of three. One, two, three. Let's do it. I have a ticket to the soccer match on the Friday night. Whoa, would you like to go? Thanks, I like to. What time does it start? At eight. Uh, that sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? Uh -huh. Oh, at night. What? Do I have to work at night? Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around seven thirty. Okay, let me add the gate. That's all fine. See you there. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for your participation, guys. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Okay, just one more uh, couple, one more uh, group we can say, and, and if we're going to finish with with this section, right? Oh, okay. Somebody's telling me that I uh, can put the, the camera on because it's, it's not in the, uh, he's outside outside home right don't worry for that it is understood that that kind of situation 
here because it's it's late. Okay, I'm going to choose the lo the last one. Okay. I would like to like this. Yeah. Oh well, with Fredo, would you like to help us with the with the last participation in, in the conversation? Yes, teacher. Okay, you're gonna be there, Wilfredo. And Marisol de Los Angeles, hello. You were falling asleep or or, or you were just holding your hair. No. <laughs> okay, Marisol, would you like to help us be in Susan? And yes. Ah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Maris. And okay, let's go to start at the count of three. One, two, three. Let's go. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Mm -hmm. Would you like to go? Thanks. I love to what time does it start? Mm -hmm. At eight o'clock. Eight o'clock, uh huh. That song great. So do. So, so, do, so, so do, you, do you want? So do you want to have dinner at six o'clock? Uh -huh. Oh, I like to, but I have to work late. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, that okay. Let let you meet at the stadium before the match around seven thirty. Seven thirty. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That's all. Fine. See you there. Okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, yeah, this really this really help you to improve your uh, your speaking, right? Even if we made some mistake at the moment to uh, uh hi Karina you raise your hand. Hello teacher. Hello Karina, you raise your hand. You 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 want to participate? Yes. Okay, but can, with with who you go, with who you are going to participate? Do you want to select someone from the group, or I just choose you, the one that going to participate with you? Karina? I want to participate, teacher. Okay, Jocelyn and Karina, the last two participants that we're going to have today for this beautiful dialogue that we have here. Okay, let's go to start at the count of three. One, two, three. I, I am a baby teacher. Uh, oh, sorry. I, I, I thought, Karina, you're going to be day and Jocelyn, you're going to be Susa. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I have tickets to the soccer match. On Friday night, would you like to go? Thanks, I love to. What time does it start? It start? Mm -hmm. At eight. Mm -hmm. At eight. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? Oh, I like to boot. I had to work late. 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 Uh -huh, late. Okay. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around seven thirty. Seven thirty. Okay. Let me at the gate. At the gate. Gate. Gate, uh -huh. no gate, gate. <laughs> okay, gate. what about what about the la, the last? Um, that sounds fine. See you there. Okay, thank you, thank you, ladies, thank you, thank you, thank you for your participation. We are going to move on to our to our next slide, right? 
I'm going to see. I don't know why. There. Oh, okay. Here we have. Okay, guys. We have here the grammar section. Wool plus bear uh, plus two plus the bear. We have a sequence, right? We have a structure that is telling us wool is a. I don't know if how many of you have heard about the the uses of wool. I don't know if some of you guys have heard uh, this structure or have worked with with this. Podría. No. Uh -huh. Would you like? No, in, in this case, no. Armando, podría, it might be for the case, uh, for the case using cool. This me gustaría. Is... Me gustaría. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Me gustaría. Me gustaría. But don't confuse, don't, don't confuse in Spanish. Because this, this one is me gustaría, pero de, de hacer algo. No gustaría de, 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 de como que. Es como un deseo, Ticho. Ah, como realizar algo, pues me gustaría, eh, vamos a suponer, eh, comerme 10 pupusas. Me gustaría, en español, ¿va? me gustaría ir al cine, pero no van a decir ustedes como cuando les gusta una persona. I, I would like that, that, that person. Me gustaría aquella persona. No, 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 no. <ríe> Ahí es completamente diferente. No se vayan a confundir con eso porque muchos, muchas personas, chicos, lo que les pasa es que confunden en los contextos en español con los cuales se trabaja en inglés. Entonces ahí es donde ellos la mayoría de tiempo don match. O sea, dicen, este, pero también esto es en español, también esto. No, 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 no. Recuerden siempre esto. El inglés es usado de a, según el contexto en que lo vamos nosotros a aplicar. Ya si usted quiere decir en, en inglés que le gusta a alguien, eh, puede decir, eh, he likes me, o ya si le quiere a usted que, o sea, puede, puede preguntarle, I like you, te gusto. Entonces ahí es muy diferente porque estamos hablando de, de, de estamos hablando de physical attraction. How do you really like the other the other person, right? But here it's different. In Spanish, it might be the same. Me gusta o me gustaría. But in English, you have to understand the context. It's very very different. Here, this one is would like to go out. On Friday, and even the grammar structure are completely, completely different because here in this case you have the following structure. You have the moda. This wool is also a moda. What does mean with a moda? A moda help us to do like a more formal the sentence and help us the in the other ways to. And at the moment to elaborate the, the sentence, right? We have a lot of moda. We have uh, wool, cool, uh, shoe, up to, oh, there's, uh, there's a large list, but here we're going to work today with this one. That is just wool, wool. Here we have uh, the song example right here. If you pay attention, guys. If you see, we have the modal wool, we have, after this one, we have, what is you? You might be or subject, right? We have like. What will be like in this case, guys? Like it is a? Bear. Bear. And the structure says, wool, bear, plus two, plus bear, e plus or complement, más mm -hmm. nuestro complemento. Always going to be a structure on this way. Wool plus the subject plus the bird plus the two plus the other bird plus the complement we want to use or the complement we want to apply in the sentence that we are going to elaborate or in the sentence that we are going to to correct because not all, not all the cases might be that you only gonna elaborate some sentence. In some other cases, it might be that 
that you can elaborate a sentence from zero too, right? Okay, here we have another example. Oh, I was forgetting something. What can you what can you notice right right here? This little symbol. How we call it in English? Question mark. Question mark. Okay. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. What? I don't know if some of you have asked yourself why this model has an, a question mark. I don't know how many of you have asked you this guy. Watching or observing this, uh, this example that we have right here. What we're talking about in the in the last sections when we have or 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 question mark. Mm -hmm. The same word said. Es usado para una pregunta. Pregunta. Siempre eh, poner pilas ahí, ojo, en los, en los pequeños detalles, ¿verdad, chicos? En los pequeños detalles para que de esa manera no vayamos obviando ciertas cosas, ¿verdad? Ok, tenemos otro ejemplo aquí. We have another sample right here. Would you like to go to a soccer game? To a soccer, oh, sorry, to a soccer match. To a soccer match. It is also a well structured, right? We have wool, to, bear, to, and we have go to. And if you see, uh, in the majority of the cases, uh, you only can use one, one, one preposition of two. But in this case, we are uh, we use uh, two way just to in order to make emphasize to the uh, uh, to the action or to the place that they are going to go. Right in this case, mentioning about something that they were they would like to go to a soccer match to a soccer match. Uh, this this might mean that they are going to a soccer field to see the match, right? Uh, because uh, it is uh, according to the context that is applied. I don't consider that they are going to see the match on TV. Uh, this is this uh, this is uh, this is like a more referring to to see the match, but in life. Okay. Also, we have guys. Uh, what can you tell me about this one? How how can we call this this way uh, in order to help us to answer? We were talking about this one. This this guy on answer. They are calling like like what? Short answers. Short, short answer. Yeah, short answer. Short answer. Short answer. Why they are called okay. sure? The same word said that because they are sure. Buen buen salvadoreño, porque son cortas. Wilfredo, what would you like to to say? Eh, sí, eh, eh, lo del match, eh, si no lo entendí mal, se usa soccer match, el match cuando es un evento en vivo, dijo, ¿verdad? Oh, no. no, 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 no. En este caso, no. en este caso, no, no hay, no, no, no. O sea, yo les dije que, eh, que tal vez se podría inferir de que ellos van a irlo a ver en vivo, pero no es como necesariamente decir de que soccer match es para, para que sea, eh, eh, para que sea en vivo o, o referirse para que sea en, en, en televisión. O sea, Acuérdense que en, en inglés tenemos aquello que se llama inferir, igual en el español. Nosotros podemos inferir una cosa cuando en realidad es otra, ¿verdad? Pero ya aplicada en el contexto real, nosotros decimos, ajá, no, ah, pues si, si era esto, ¿verdad? Entonces es un, es un ejemplo así que podría, estaba mencionando en, en este caso, pero don Wilfredo, no es que realmente eh, Soccer Match sea aplicado para, o, o sea, un... Un juego en, en, en vivo, va. Nosotros estamos infiriendo que podría ser, va. Pero no, no, no vamos a decir, ah, este es específicamente para ello. No sé si me capta la, la... Sí, sí, o sea, eh, sí, lo, lo, lo del match, más que todo, era mi, mi, mi duda. Ah, no, 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 como, so, como soccer match, 
the two words make one meaning. O sea, ¿qué quiere decir esto? Que esas dos palabras hacen un solo significado, ¿va? O sea, al final eh, lo traducimos en un contexto, el, el, el juego de fútbol o, o el partido, como queramos llamarlo en español. ¿Qué otro, qué otro sinónimo les podemos dar a, a, a un partido aquí? El mascón, ¿va? <ríe> el famoso mascón, como le decimos nosotros. Entonces, esa forma de inferir de nosotros en el lenguaje eh, español, o sea, we have a past area in order which can go oh, white. O sea, no nos podemos enfocar tal vez en un solo, en un solo sinónimo. En el español nosotros podemos tener hasta varias cosas, incluso en vocabularios en los cuales nosotros ni siquiera estamos acostumbrados a usar. Diferencia del inglés. Hay infinidad o variedad de sinónimos para cada palabra, pero eso va a depender del conocimiento que nosotros tengamos, porque el inglés eh, no es your mother tongue. El, el inglés en este caso eh, estaría siendo como your second language, su segunda lengua. Uh -huh. en, el caso, en el caso de ustedes, ¿por qué? Es, porque son native speaker, eh, de, o sea, son hablantes. Eh, propios del español, no native speaker in English, right? Ahí son dos contextos diferentes, porque el, el native es la persona que meramente nació en el país y habla esa, esa lengua. Y el second language es, es el que usted habla después de su primera, de su primera lengua. O sea, el lenguaje es bien, es bien variado, es bien, es, es bien amplio, es bastante amplio, don Wilfredo. Pero no sé si le quedó ahí un poquito... Eh, sí, gracias, teacher. Thank you. Ah, ok, ok. Eh, estamos para eso, bien saben, ¿verdad, chicos? Eh, a veces me, me detengo un poquito así en, en el español, pero es para que profundicemos un poquito más a la hora de tratar de en, entender el contexto de nuestro idioma, porque no solamente es arraigarnos al inglés, también podernos arraigar un poquito el contexto que nosotros tenemos al español cuando hacemos esa translation, ¿verdad? O de... de el idioma que estamos aprendiendo a nuestra lengua materna o a nuestra lengua madre que, que es el español. Ok, let's continue. We were talking about this like short answer, right? We have yes, I will. And we have yes, I love to. Uh, got, uh, guys, how, what can we see right here? The, in this play where I have the laser. It's a contraction, I will. Oh, it is a contraction. A contraction form, right? We don't have the, the long way or the long answer. We make them a little bit short. Yeah, in also words. It is called contraction because we, we in order to reduce them. That's why they're called short answer. What way? Yeah might be useful for for being implemented in, in the structure, right? Yes, I love to say. This is this might be another way to answer this, this question, right? Would you like to go out on Friday? And the person say, yes, I will. Yes, I love to, thanks. Yes, I really like to go. If you see, guys, we always at the moment of, of answer, the petition that we that was asking, you always gonna ask using the same structure. They say, would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I really like to go. What about the, the second one? Would you like to go to a soccer mine? I would like to, but I have to work late. This one might be like a, a long answer, but with a few contradictions, like, uh, like when you say me, in Spanish, me gustaría pero uh, uh, the famous the famous pero in, in Spanish. Uh, yo quisiera pero that, that is how we can understand uh, uh, this instruction. I would like to, but but what this mean that this person would really like to do or, or accept the request that another person is doing to to him or her, but there's, there is something that is avoided to this person of uh, accepting the, the request or the petition that the other person is 
telling to him or her, right? That uh, hearing English is the famous but, but don't going to confuse with the uh, with the other but, the the but of, of the body. This but is with one T. The other but is with two T. And also is longer. Don't going to confuse those those words, guys. Okay, I like to but. Sorry, guys. Sorry. <clears throat> I like to, but I have to work late. What does it mean? That he would really like, but he has to work late. What about the second one? I will. I like to, but I need to save money. He would like to, but he doesn't have money, or he really, or he really wants to save some some money. Because going out during the whole weekends, uh, you spend a lot of money. You in that way, you're never gonna save some money if you want to go out of the country to a specific trip. What about the third one? I like to, but I want to visit my parents. I like to, but I want to visit my parents. Oh, thank you, Henry. Uh huh. Match sport party. Are you going to the match this Saturday? Oh, thank you. Thank you for. Thank you for that, Henry. Okay, he wants to go, but, and the person can go because he wants to visit his or her parents, right? And if you see, guys, here we have the contraction. Look. I will. The construction will be I. It's like a, I. I. It's like a, you put together the two lips and when you put like a little bit out of your mouth, your your tongue. I. 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 You you feel when when you feel when your tongue touches your upper lip and your. <laughs> yeah, the the I... two lips. Yeah, the two lips. Uh, are touched by by the tongue. But at the moment when you I produce, am. at the moment you produce that, that's why in in English we have a phonetic that help us to to produce in a proper way all the all the songs in in the words. And that's when you feel a lot of difference at the moment you uh, you say some words that maybe your tongue touches the your upper teeth or your down teeth. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, variation. You can mix teeth, tongue, and lip. Oh, there's a lot of ways in order to, to produce a variety of sounds. Okay, guys, let's move a little bit from here. Respond to three invitations, then write three invitations for the given responses. Okay, guys. Okay, 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 guys. Here we have six invitations. You were very busy for this weekend. You see? You're going to take some time of, of your life because you have six, <laughs> six invitations for, for this weekend. <laughs> okay, guys. Let's go to check the number, the number one. And it says, I have tickets to the baseball game on Saturday. Would you like to go? Guys. What will be our possible answer for this question? What will be? In using, remember, using the structure that we were already talking about. Mm -hmm. Who wants to help me? Yes, I would like to I really to like to go. Yes, I really like to go. Yes, I really like to go. to go okay thank you that that, that would be a, a a good answer for for that petition okay let's move to the second one would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night mm -hmm. okay would you like would you like to come over for dinner to come over uh I love to thanks. 
I love to sing. Okay, thank you, Ruth. Thank you for your participation. Uh, that that, that means that you that you are activated. <laughs> okay, let's move to the third one, right here. Would you like to go to a pop concert with me this weekend? What would be your possible answer for this question, guys? I really like to go. Yes, I really, I really like to go. And we have the the, the other part, but, this, but in this column is the opposite. In the first one, we have the question. And then we are answer using the structure that we were talking about. Here in this part, in the opposite, we are going to structure the question according to the answer that we have here. Okay, the answer that we have here is, yes, I love to, thanks. What would be your possible answer here? Would you like to go to cinema? Would you like to go to soccer match next Sunday? Okay, Armando said, would you like to go to the cinema? Who said uh, about the soccer game? Who mentioned that about the, who mentioned the, the, the example about the soccer, the, the, the soccer game uh, weekend? Who mentioned all the partidos, chicos? I... Ah, Aníbal, what, what did yes. you say? Uh, would you like? Uh, would you like uh, to go to a soccer match next Sunday? Ah, okay. Would you like to go uh, to a soccer match next Sunday? Mm, yes. Yeah. Okay. And the answer will be yes. I love to sing. Okay. Thank you for for. I don't know if someone else wants to wants to help me with the possible answer, sorry, with the possible question here. Ruth, you're gonna help us. Huh? Try to try to do it, Ruth. Don't worry if you made a mistake. You can also tell me in Spanish, I will help you too. Te guste, podría ser, no, no, no la he armado en inglés, pero te, te gustaría ir a, al cine conmigo. Oh, la, eh, la de las cinco me está diciendo. No, 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 no. no. We, were, we, we keep here in number four. Ah, oh, no, cuatro. Ajá. Yeah, Armando mentioned something like, uh, something similar to, to what you are saying about the cinema. Uh -huh. but, uh give me just some minutes, uh, Wilfredo. Then we're going with, with, with you. Uh, okay, Rod, uh, we can say in this way. Would you like to go to the movie theater on Saturday? That might be different. Te gustaría ir a, al cine el sábado, ¿verdad? Entonces nuestra posible respuesta, Ruth, sería Yes, I love to sing. Claro, me gustaría o me encantaría. Gracias. Ok, did, did, you, get the, did you get the the idea, Ruth? Yes. Oh, yes. Ok, ok, thanks, Ruth. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Eh, Don, will, will, who was the one who raised the, the, the hand, who was, was uh, I think it was, uh, ah, Wilfredo. Okay, Wilfredo. Uh, tell me one possible uh, question that you might use right here. What do you say? Would you like to go out for pizza this Friday? Oh, okay. Would you like to go for pizza this Friday. Yeah. Yes, I love to. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Wilfredo. Let's move to the number five. Uh, here we have the the answer for, for that one. 
Well, I like to, but I have to study. What, what, uh, what kind of question we can we use right here? Okay, guys. Oh, Diana, don't, 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 don't air for your throat or your, or your voice. I can listen that you, you are really, really sick or very bad from your throat. I think that cold really affects you, right? Okay, Don Nelson, Don Nelson, would you like to help us, Don Nelson, in the number five? Uh, would you like to go to a party? Ah, Nelson, enjoy the parties. Nelson, you are a you are a party a party guy or a party man? Yes, do, teacher. Ah, do you really like? Do you really enjoy parties, Nelson? Oh, that's that that's nice, right? <laughs> do you do you really like dance, right? Uh, little teacher. But you can dance or not? <laughs> not much. Not much, but but you do your best, right? Okay. Thank thank you for your participation, uh, Nelson. Thank you. Okay, guys. Let's move to the number six, and uh, we have the answer here. Yes. Thank you. I really like to see it. Focus on this guy to see it. To see it what? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How we can structure the question right here? Uh, taking into account how, how this and Yes, thank you. I really like to see it. Mm -hmm. Let's see. What else? Uh, Elsa. Hello, Elsa. Hello. Elsa, would you like to help us with the... Uh, to, to make the question for the number six? Okay. Maybe it could be. Mm -hmm. Would you like to see the new city? Oh, okay. Would you like to go and see? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you like to go and see the new city? Oh, yeah. Teacher. Hola. Uh, uh, what do you say? Atardecer. Uh, it's like uh, atarde, atardecer. Yeah. It's like the... In English? It's... Uh, how was... The, how this one was calling in sunset English? Teacher? The song, the famous sunset, right? The sunset. Sunset, and okay. That, and that, and that I, famous... I have... Yeah, that was one famous phrase that we used to use with a friend because he sunset. was... He was really fascinated uh, 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 no, I, I think in the in the evening, right here in in, in the country, when the sun is going okay. going down, and he always mm -hmm. said we were when we were at the beach. I love the sunset. I love the sunset, and, and, and I can't forget that word. And I don't know why. Okay, I was forgetting that word, but that is called sunset. Eh, the famoso atardecer. That is called okay. the sunset. I have a, a, a sentence for the question. Okay, let's uh, let's share with, with your classmate. Would you like to see the sunset on the beach? Mm -hmm. Would you like to see the sunset on the beach? Oh yeah, that that, that might be a great a great question. And we we will answer yes, thank you. I really like to see it. To see it. Yeah, most of the people really like okay. or or enjoy enjoy the sunset. Uh, I really like to stay at, at the afternoon and see the sunset at the beach. The, the it, it is it's amazing, very beautiful. Yeah, but while you were in the play, it's better. 
Yeah, because the, the plane is over the, the, the clouds and you see the sun right on the bottom of the clouds. And it's it's really amazing because uh, the the clouds and the and the bottom view is getting orange, but like in a light orange, no like a not like a dark orange. And it's very, very, very beautiful. Very beautiful. Seeing the sunset in, in a play is one of the most amazing things. Or seeing the sunset in the mountains. Yeah, that 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 might mm -hmm. be great too. From the volcano, it is a good view to see the sunset from the volcano. And whatever volcano you were, even here in the Chaparrastique, in okay. you were in Santa Ana, in Salco, it is one excellent view. One excellent view, guys. Okay, guys, thank you for helping me with those questions. And I don't know if you still having some doubts according to to this question. Oh, here we have one another example. Would would you like to meet my new car? Ah, that that is a, a good 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 question. And the person will say, Yes, thank you. I really like to see it. Okay. He wants to show the, the his new car. <laughs> Everybody feel happy with a new car, right guys? Especially if you win a if you win that prize or if you win that car in, in a lottery in a lottery game, right? You just pay the taxes and it's gonna be yours. Hearing in everywhere where where you win that prize. Okay, guys, let's move to our wait, wait, wait. To the following slide. Okay, guys. See, there it says, think of three things you would like to do. Then invite a partner to do them with you. Your partner asks you and follow the question, like when it is, where it is, what time does it start, where should we meet, when does it end, how, how should we get there? Okay, guys, remember the last structure that we were, that we were using, right? Using wool. You can you can ask to any of your classmates uh, uh, whatever you want and he, he can use uh, any of them in order to answer the, the question that you are making today. Okay, Henry, would, would you like to structure another sentence and select the uh, select your classmate? The one do you want to help you? Who would who would you like to help you here? Sorry, I I don't understand that. Okay, okay, Harry. Remember that we were structuring or making sentences using wool, right? Uh, uh, yes. Ajá. Okay. Estamos haciendo los ejercicios usando wool. En este caso, qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Vamos a contestar de una manera muy diferente utilizando o contestando también mejor dicho también con otra pregunta o sea como que yo le diría a usted en el buen salvadoreño okay. este te gustaría ir a, al parque entonces usted diría ¿a cuál parque? ah a tal parque <ríe> entonces okay. te diría, sería yes I would like to ok este sería como el, 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 el la, la, la otra contra pregunta que le haría a la otra persona no sé si me, me entendió ya ahorita that will be the contrapart. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh. okay. 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 Una Thank pregunta you. usando Google, como con la estructura que ya vimos, y la para que genere una posible respuesta entre las que están acá. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Wilfredo. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Who 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 you're going to select to help you? Or who are going um, to choose? Armando. Armando. Armando, help uh, Henry. I don't <laughs> know if, if you already okay. catch the, the the idea of what we were talking about. 
uh, I have a, a little, but I, I don't know if it's correct. Don't uh, worry. Don't worry, Armando. We are going to help you. That's why the class it is, right? And uh, would you like to go to see a movie? And what movie? Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. was was movie or just simple you or just can simple do it. Would you like to go to see a movie? Uh, what time does it start? What time does it does it start? Uh huh. It start at okay. eleven o'clock. It start at eleven o'clock. Oh, okay. I would like to. Uh -huh. In that way, might be the the okay. the the way in which we were playing with this with the structure. You 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 got the idea, right? Armando and Antonio, right? Yes. Perdón, sorry, Armando, Armando, Antonio, Armando, Antonio and Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, uh, um. Would you like to go to a party? Uh -huh. Where is it? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, Heavy. It is in. Okay. It, it, this. <laughs> well, okay, he's in my home. <laughs> or or he's in is 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 in the home of teacher. <laughs> the teacher no, home. No, the teacher Eddie, home. Eddie, you can okay. answer. You can answer to Armando. It is uh uh at the Metro Centro Cinema. And Armando will answer you. Uh, oh, that's fine. I would like to go. Uh -huh. Or I really like. Okay. Uh -huh. That 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 might be some possible. In this S case, some. Yeah, the, we were we can play with 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 a different structure, right? In order to to work with with those examples that we are here, but I think that those of them are like a little bit more complex than I was expected, right? But we can get that. We can get the idea. The, the idea is that trying to understand how we can use another structure, like in the famous Spanish, con, contestar con otra pregunta, como decíamos nosotros, verdad? O sea, contestar a mi petición con otra okay. pregunta. Uh -huh. uh, that that this might be the case using those those examples that we have here. Okay, let's move to our last. A slide because due to time, I think we have to hurry up. Guy, writing a text message. I don't know how many you have seen in Spanish. I think like uh, some years ago, or I don't know if it's still the the young people, the young guys still doing this kind of thing, sending message using letters or using some. Consonant or using some vowels. Have you received uh, any message with like this one that we have in, in, in the slide? Like this one. What it says right here? Like, like to see, to see, a, movie. To a, see movie. a movie tonight. Tonight. To me tonight. Mm -hmm. Remember that in Spanish, uh, some people used to use just some image. And, but in English, it's very famous to use uh, numbers, uh, in this case, consonants or vowel, in order to change it for other words. Because in this way, to is referring just to the preposition to. Right, but right here, just we have the just the number two. But if you see it, it you can listen uh, similar, like to see. You see the letter, you see the consonant right here, and see it's another one that like you see it. here, that like you see in the text message abbreviation. M is um you. Is you from from the from the subject, right? 
R, the letter R is R, and C is C. Is your yeah. like a song? Oh, es sorry, Armando. Es como suena la, la letra. En la ah, ajá, es, es, es la famosa como ponerlo como suena, pero pero a la larga no es la no es la correcta, no es la manera correcta por de usarlo, ¿verdad? Entonces, if you see right here, we have the number four. And we have the four, uh, para referirse a alguien. We have the two and the preposition two. We have late and L with an eight, late, a W with an A. Hey, I never have seen this one. Yeah, a It's W eight. with an A, wait. Oh, wait. GR with an A, great. Great. Oh, great. GR, great. Great. Uh -huh. Great. Uh -huh. Great. <laughs> great. Like, like a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Great. Uh, great. <laughs> <laughs> And also we have THX, thanks. Or the thanks. famous, okay. or the famous phrase, or the famous, sorry, phrase. The famous letter, like the X O X O X O. Uh, so, 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 so. Uh -huh. so, so, the famous so, so. Uh -huh, that means besos y abrazos, ¿va? So, so. Mm -hmm. I don't know if some of you have heard L O L. L O L. Lol. Lol, uh -huh. in English. L O L. Translated uh, into Spanish. I don't know how many of you have heard that. L -L. Laughing out loud in supposement. Uh huh. Thank you, Diana. Laughing out loud. What? Laughing out loud. Laugh. Es, es como lo diríamos en, en, en. Es como lo diríamos en el buen salvadoreño. Morirse de la risa. L O L. That is that famous laughing out loud. Uh -huh. No, 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 carcajeándome. ¿Cómo? Carcajeándome. Ajá, podría ser una, una, una manera. Entonces, eh, we can see how English can be eh, made also a mix between eh, letters, numbers, um, in this case, vowels and consonant to make or produce new words, right? Eh, but Guys, this is not a formal written form. No, 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 no. In something formal, you never gonna do this. Mix everything. Mix mix the the the, the letters with number just with consonant like the one that we have here. You never gonna do that. In formal things, you're going to follow the real format that you're going to use in order to send a letter or to type a an email. No, this kind of message are very, very informal. But at the same time, they are understood. What this mean? That if you read it, you can understand the message, right? Even without, even you, without understand, you can infer what the message say, right? And you can read it too. Like to see a movie tonight. 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 Yeah, just Just we're going to have some issues with the one that we don't know, like this one, right? And the L U B love and night. Oh, night is this one like a like a popular. Okay, guys, this is this was everything for today, and thanks for your attention, guys. We're going to to call the role. Remember that I told you at the beginning of the class, we're going to call the role because some of you were not connected uh, when we start the, the class. We're going to call the role, guys. Okay, let's start here with the number one. Ana, Ana Graciela Ramo Garcia. Okay, thank you. Anderson Jeremy. Anderson, hello. I think he, he uh, wait, wait, guy. I think he, he sent me a, a message and said uh, he was having technical issues. 
Oh yeah, Anderson was having technical issues, but what he was having was he get connected and and the internet uh, fall fall down. Okay, uh, Armando Antonio. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you, Armando. Uh, Blanca Stephanie. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you, Blanca. Thank you. Karina Beatriz. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Karina. Carlos Aníbal. Carlos. Carlos Aníbal. Carlos, are you there? Yes. Where are you, Carlos? Yes. Carlos. Okay, ah, you were you were there. I, I listened to you. Daniel Alejandra. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Diana Patricia. Present teacher. Thank you, Diana. Elsa Noelia. Present. Thank you. Floricia Mangíbar. Mm -hmm. Floricia Mangiba. You are having technical issues too, right? Okay. Uh, Henry Alexander. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Henry. Ingrid Esmeralda. Present teacher. Okay. Jaime Iván. Here, teacher. Thank you. Jocelyn Alicia. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Karina Yamilet. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Carla Gabriela. Present teacher. Thank you. Marie Imelda. Present teacher. Okay. Somebody said in English. Oh, okay. Yeah, Anderson was having uh, technical issues with, with his microphone uh, in, in the camera too. I, I think he was getting back connection. Okay, Marie Melda said present, right? Marie Melda. Present. Okay, thank you. Sí. Maria Please. Wendy. Present teacher. Thank you, Maria Wendy. Marisol de Los Angeles. Present, mister. Okay, Miguel Angel. Present teacher. Nelson Rutilio. Present teacher. Okay, Jose Rom Romer Jose. Present teacher. Okay, Ronald Alexander, you were there, right? Present teacher. Rosa Elizabeth, you were there. Uh, Ruth Noemi. Present. Okay, and Wilfred Alberto, you were there. I hear okay. You. okay, thank you, guy. Okay, guy, this, is, this was all for today. Thank you for your participation and for being attending the class. I hope to see you tomorrow class and take care and have a good nap and recover all the energy that you need for the tomorrow day. Okay, guys, see you tomorrow. I hope to see you tomorrow. Take care, guys. Have a nice night. Have a good night, night guys. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye.